Let's get some shows. Welcome to Eric and Horror Stories. Eric speaking. Yeah, it's been a minute, huh? Um, obviously, I fall in and out of love of doing this, as well as a lot of you fall in and out of love of seeing me. Uh, based on the comments, a lot more probably happy I'm not doing these. But yes, I'm crazy. I know this. I can be annoying and obnoxious. Every single person in my personal life has told me this. So, you know, you get what you get. You love me or you hate me or you don't care about me. Those are the only options, right? Anyway, I'm here today with not really a horror thing, maybe kind of, sort of interesting, but I'm going to do an opening of a box today that maybe you'll find interesting. I decided to save it for this. I just got back from an oddities convention in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, my first trip there. Selling my photography went amazing. My second best single day show ever, and I thought Milwaukee was awesome. Uh, very cool, a lot of stuff to do there. Hope I get to go back someday. But anyway, I've been doing a lot of that stuff. I've been pretty busy. Halloween season will be amping up here in a month or two with merchandise and all that. So maybe I'll pop on here to annoy you with all that. In the meantime, it's still pretty festive back here. That's uh, that's Cocaine Bear, in case you were wondering. I I thought the movie was great. Maybe I'll do a video on that. I don't know. But So today, I'm going to open a box of Vans and show you all. Now, why is that interesting? Maybe it's not. But... I've been checking out the Vans website for a while, especially when I was trying to land those uh, Nightmare on Elm Street Vans, which I did not, which sucked, or any of the other ones. Fine, I've seen them walking around. They're pretty cool. But they have a custom option for Vans, which was very intriguing to me. Now, maybe I'm too old to wear Vans. I don't know. I wear them all the time. Used to be a Converse guy, as many of you out there probably love Converse, but I don't know. I never felt they provided full support and actually had a really bad fall. Uh, in the rain wearing them one time which kind of soured me on them I like completely jacked up my arm I did this huge comedy Pratt fall way up in the air slamming down on uh, my back and my elbow leaving a Taco Bell in the rain and of course the first thing I thought was as I was laying there was did anybody see that and I looked around somehow no one did so I managed to crawl my wet damp ass back to my car and slink away and shame but it like hurt my elbow for my elbow hurt for months because of that it wasn't the um shoe's fault but you know it's kind of equivalency in my mind and again i always thought they looked cool i didn't think they felt the best vans i like better this is the kind i normally wear and yes these are these are my everyday wears so they're they're um they're a little beat up but this is my favorite right here and also these the higher tops so you can customize your vans any color combination you want based on the way they make them. Here's a piece, you know, there's a piece. Everywhere a piece, piece, old McVans, you can customize. Anyway, because they just assemble these piece by piece, you can get whatever colors you want and make it your own. Maybe something they don't actually sell directly. But you can also put pictures on them. And that was what was most intriguing to me. So I had to, first of all, these unfortunately, I mean, you can... The picture area is like right here or something, and I don't know what you could put there that really would show decently. These shoes are so small, and that area is so small. You would either have to have a tiny image or just a piece of something, a pattern or something. That wasn't going to work for me on this. So I decided to do one of these deals, which you can still customize all the stuffs. And then you have this space for the picture, which is significantly more. Now... I was going to use my photography, obviously, for this. And according to their rules, you can't use, like, sexy stuff. Now, I don't know if you could put, like, non-nude sexy stuff on there. If these look good, I may give it a shot sometime if the shoes are if the shoes are great, um, which we're about to find out. I have not opened them yet. I did use... So, I went with this picture. And I'm physically holding it instead of putting it on the screen so I can, like, directly hold up the shoes next to it. What I tried to do... I needed kind of a vertical image that it wouldn't mind, matter if it was chopped up a little bit. So I did two of the heads on one side and then two of the heads on the other side. And they're in kind of this rumple area, this rumple stilt skin area here. So I don't know how it's going to look. I don't know what the quality of their photo printing is. I mean, they're Vans. It's a quality company. So I'm hoping it looks great. And we're about to open this box and find out. Also, I love red and black together. I love wearing... Um, Red hat with a black shirt, red 
you know, I just like red and black together. I think it looks great. So I have enough black shoes. So I got a lot of heavily red accents on these shoes and red and black with white laces. So here's my custom van box. It took approximately four weeks for them to finish the shoes and they FedEx them out. I think they come from overseas, but it did not take long. It was only like three or four days after they said it was shipped to get here. So, and of course I was out of town when they got here. I was really hoping they would get here in time for that show, but it's cool. I'll have them for all the other shows. I don't know what. Got a, some paperwork in there. We'll look at that later. Little bag of vans. Ooh, I can see the back. Let's rip this band aid right off, shall we? Oh, okay. Well, it is pretty cool. Um, so you've got the, the red there, the red and the black. I really liked that. And then here's my image. That's pretty sick. Which side is which? Tongue man there. All you ladies, you probably like the side with Tongue Man. And um, then there's Broken Mouth Man and I can't believe this stuff, man. Yeah, okay, so it is a little weird where it's rumpled, but yeah, the image quality is really good. I think these shoes look great and they're only 120 bucks. I mean, a regular pair of Vans without your own image on them, brand new, they're what? 70, 80, 90 bucks. I don't know for sure, but well, let's make that sure the other shoe looks good too. We need two of them. Yeah. Those are neat. I, I'm definitely, if these feel good and fit well, I am definitely going to maybe down the road see if I can do one of my sexy things on there if it'll fit okay. But check this. Ooh, that new shoe smell. Love it. Well, I'm going to put these on in Moonwalk or something, and we'll show that here in a few minutes, I guess. But, yeah, there's my custom vans. I uh, highly recommend if you think that would be something fun for you to do. They have all kinds of colors. I mean, they have lace options. You can do – they have heavy customizations on these things. It's very neat. So check them out. Go on their website. Look at their customs. Again, they do these. They do the smaller ones. They may do other ones, too. I don't know. These are the only two kinds I wear of theirs. So. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining me on Eric and Horror Stories today. Maybe I'll do a video review re, 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 video review or two soon. Uh, I have some thoughts on Megan, and I have some thoughts on Cocaine Bear, and upcoming Halloween stuff. Maybe we'll talk about that some. So It's good to see you all, even though I can't see you, all three of you watching this, and hopefully two of you at least like it. I'll go for that return rate. You guys behave yourselves. Have an amazing rest of your day, week, year, decade. Score. How long is a score? Is it 20 years? Have a good score. I hope you score. See you later. Okay, so here they are. Looking pretty good. Feel good, too. Do some squats. Uh oh, somebody driving by. I probably should put some clothes on. They uh, told me not to be Nicky outside anymore. At least my attorney did. Because I'm like within uh, 300 yards of a school or something. Why do I say stuff like this? I don't know. Anyway, these kicks are rad, I think. They're kicking rad. Thanks for joining me. Bye.